In this video tutorial, I'll be looking at 6.2 graphs of sec x, cosec x, and cot x. Let's start off with the graph of y equal cot x. I'm going to sketch it in this particular interval. The very first step is to notice that y equal cot x is equal to minus tan in bracket x minus pi over 2. Okay, so that there is very important. So to sketch y equal cot x, what we need to do is apply a sequence of transformations on the graph of y equal tan x. We first of all start with tan x and shift it pi over 2 units to the right. Once we've done that, we take that particular graph and reflect it in the x-axis. So the graph of y equal cot x will look something like this over here. Okay, we've got asymptotes at the y-axis, which is x equals 0. The other asymptote is at x equal pi. Okay, so x equal pi. The next one, x equal 2 pi. In the same way, we've got an asymptote at x equal minus pi. Now let's have a look at the graph of y equals sec x and y equal cosec x in these given intervals. The reason why I've put the coordinate grids together for y equals sec x and y equal cosec x is because both of these graphs are related in a very juicy way. Let me first of all start off by sketching y equals sec x. The very first step is to sketch in your two asymptotes. So your two asymptotes will be at x equal minus pi over 2 and x equal pi over 2. Once you've done that, you then sketch the next two asymptotes. So the next two asymptotes will be at x equal minus 3 pi over 2 and x equal 3 pi over 2. So in the interval, minus 2 pi is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 pi, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 different asymptotes. Let's sketch the curve between the asymptotes x equal minus pi over 2 and x equal pi over 2. The curve looks something like this. U-shape, okay? Now, let's sketch the curve between the asymptotes x equal pi over 2 and x equal 3 pi over 2. The curve looks something like this. Okay, so that turning point is in line with that minus 1 and that turning point it is at y equal 1. Now, the next curve will be up over here. Okay, the turning point is in line with the 1. So what we can see over here is an up, down, up pattern. So we can conclude that the next part of the curve that we can sketch in is this part over here. Okay? And then up over here will be the final part of the curve in this particular interval. And there you have it. That's the graph of y equal sec x. Now y equal sec x are undefined at x equal minus 3 pi over 2, x equal minus pi over 2, x equal pi over 2, and x equal 3 pi over 2. So we have that x is not equal to the following values. Let's see if we can take out anything else that's juicy in this particular graph. Well, the other juicy thing that I can take out is that the distance between any two asymptotes is pi. Nice, very nice, crispy stuff. Right. 
What else can I take out of this graph? Well, I can see that it has turning points over here, 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 and over here. The values of x for which y equals sec x has a turning point, well, it is just going to be the following. By the way, ladies and gents, TP is a shorthand for turning point. Right, so the turning points are at x equals 0, x equal pi, x equal 2 pi, x equal minus pi, and x equal minus 2 pi. Okay, so x equal 0, x equal pi, x equal 2 pi, and then we've got x equal minus pi, and x equal minus 2 pi. Right, now, let's move on to the graph of y equal cosec x. y equal cosec x is related to the graph y equal sec x in the following way. We have that y equal cosec x is equivalent to sec in bracket x minus pi over 2. So, to sketch y equal cosec x, you take the graph of y equal sec x and you shift it pi over 2 units to the right. So, if I do that, I obtain the following graph. Don't forget to shift the asymptotes as well, yeah, in your transformation. And there you have it. This is the graph of y equal cosec x in this particular interval. Now, if we look at the graph, we can see that y equal cosec x is undefined at x equal minus 2 pi, minus pi, pi and 2 pi because 1, 2, 3 and 4 represent asymptotes. So x is not equal to minus 2 pi, minus pi, pi and 2 pi. The other thing that we can take out this graph is the turning points and the turning points are over here, here, here and over here. So y equal cosec x has turning points for values of x that are as follows. x equal minus 3 pi over 2, x equal minus pi over 2, x equal pi over 2, and x equal 3 pi over 2. And that there completes the sketch for y equal sec x and y equal cosec x. A tip for the exam, make sure you know how to sketch y equals sec x because if you know how to sketch y equals sec x, you can then sketch y equals cosec x by knowing the following relationship. y equals cosec x is equal to sec in bracket x minus pi over 2. Here is a past exam question. Before you look at the past exam question, I would like to raise a very important point and that point is you could be asked to apply a sequence of transformation to the sec, cosec or cot graph. For example, you could be asked to sketch y equal sec in bracket minus x. Well, that looks like f of minus x. Hence, the way to sketch y equals sec of minus x, all you have to do is take the graph of y equals sec x and reflect it in the y-axis. In the same way, you could be asked to sketch, for example, y equal cosec x plus 3 on the outside. 
that looks like a graph of the form f of x plus 3. So in this case, what you have to do is take the graph of y equal cosec x and shift it 3 units upwards. Another example, y equal, uh, let's see, 2 sec x minus 1. Right, so this over here represents a combination of transformation. It looks of the following form, 2 f of x minus 1. So in this case, you take the graph of sec x, multiply the y coordinates by 2, keeping the x coordinates the same. And then after that, you take your graph and you shift it one unit downwards. Okay, so now I would like you all to attempt this particular exam question. Have a go, ladies and gents. Okay, guys, once you have finished, for part A, you should have a graph that looks something like that. The way to obtain this graph is to start off with the graph of cosec x, multiply the y coordinates by 5, so you take the 1 and minus 1, multiply by 5, you have 5 and minus 5. Then you take that particular graph and shift it 3 units upwards to take you to 8 and minus 2. There you have it. That's what the graph looks like. Let's have a look at part B. Hence, deduce the range of values of k for which the equation 3 plus 5 cosec x equal k has no solutions. Because it says hence, you have to go to your answer in part A. So we're going to be using this particular graph to answer part B. Now, we've got this equation over here, 3 plus 5 cosec x equal k. This equation represents the intersection between two graphs, and the graphs are y equal 3 plus 5 cosec x, so this graph over here, and the graph of y equal k. Now, y equal k is just a horizontal line cutting the y-axis at k. We want to have that there are no solutions for this equation. That is, there is no intersection between the graph of y equal 3 plus 5 cosec x and y equal k. There will be no intersection if k is between minus 2 and 8. For example, if k is equal to... Uh, maybe something like 5. The line y equal 5 looks something like this over here. Okay, you can see that there's no intersection between the graph of y equal 5 and y equal 3 plus 5 cosec x. So that is a specific example. So the range of values of k is that k is between minus 2 and 8. For this particular range of values of k, the equation 3 plus 5 cosec x equal k has no solutions. Right, if you found this video tutorial useful, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.